Hello out there everyone, it's Colin from Kegworks once again, and today I'm here to talk all about one very special piece of draft beer dispensing equipment, your CO2 or nitrogen regulator. Without a properly functioning regulator, the pressure inside your CO2 or nitrogen tank is much too intense, and you'll have one hell of a time trying to dispense beer. But with a properly functioning regulator, you'll be pouring perfect pints in no time flat. Let's start by talking about some of the different kinds of regulators that are available on the market today. First up is your basic primary CO2 regulator. It helps control the pressure coming out of your tank so that a single 5 pound CO2 tank can dispense up to 8 half kegs. Basic primary CO2 regulators come in two different varieties. A single gauge helps you measure the dispensing pressure, and a double gauge measures the dispensing pressure and lets you know how much gas is left in the tank. If you're dispensing Guinness or other nitrogen-based beers, you need a nitrogen regulator. It works essentially the same as a CO2 regulator, but features a female stem to attach to a nitrogen tank. Or you can get a nitrogen converter piece and use a regular CO2 regulator. Secondary regulators allow you to dispense multiple kegs at different pressures. If you want to dispense multiple kegs all at the same pressure, a distribution bar, which is basically a large splitter, would be a better option. Now let's talk about the parts of a regulator, starting with the stem or tank connection. This is the part of a regulator that attaches directly to the CO2 tank and is a common area for leaks. In order to ensure a leak-free connection, we recommend utilizing a CO2 air tank wrench for guaranteed tightening. The low pressure gauge measures the amount of gas going into the keg. The high pressure gauge measures the amount of gas left in the tank. The shutoff valve allows you to turn the gas on and off by turning perpendicular to the airline. The adjustment screw sets the pressure output to the keg. Turn it clockwise to increase the pressure or counterclockwise to decrease the pressure. The adjustment screw on our economy regulators is a flathead screw mount. But on our premium polycarbonate versions, there's an easy to use push and pull locking mechanism. Remember that most beers are dispensed at 10 to 15 PSI or 30 to 40 PSI for nitrogen dispensing. That's everything you need to know about regulators. Head on over to kegworks.com and grab yours today.